Good evening, my name is Jody, and I'm the library programmer at the Central Rappahannock Regional Library Fredericksburg Branch. I'd like to welcome you all to the continuing concerts of the 35th year of Music on the Steps. A few thank yous before we get started. Thank you to Cinema Hearts for performing this evening. This is their second year doing Music on the Steps. Thank you to the CRRL Friends of the Library for sponsoring this event. And thank you all for attending this event. We will be having our next virtual concert on August 10th from 7 to 8 with Dan Schull. All of our future concerts will now be virtual and we will not be having a concert on August 17th. Also, this will be our last concert on Google Meets. Starting on August 10th, all future concerts will stream on Facebook Live at facebook.com slash CRRL News. You will not need a Facebook account to view. Don't worry, all future concerts will still be recorded and posted online. Please check librarypoint.org slash music dash steps for all other upcoming bands and any changes. Again, thank you all for being in attendance today and enjoy the show. Hey everyone, I'm Caroline Weinroth with Cinema Hearts. I'm so excited to be here for my second Music on the Steps. Um, I'm gonna take out my uh, earbuds. So uh, if you wanna say anything, please use the chat function. And if you have questions or you just wanna say, hey, I'd love to see what you throw in the chat. <laughs> So this first song I'm going to do, it's about summertime, it's about sunny days, uh, and wanting that when it's rainy and stormy out, so good for a day like today. This song is called Daydreaming. Dreaming, wishing I can be where you are. Daydreaming, wishing that you weren't so far. Oh, oh, this semester's so bad, classes are such a drag. I can't wait for break when I'll be holding your hand. I'm just daydreaming, waiting for the summer to come. Daydreaming, longing for the weeks to get warm. Daydreaming, longing for the end of these storms. Oh, oh, the semester's so bad, classes are such a drag. I can't wait for break when I'll be holding your hand. I'm just daydreaming, waiting for the summer to come. I'm getting tired of sitting around Not sleeping heavy mornings bringing me down Keep waiting, just need enough to pass This summer I think you'll be the best Daydreaming, hoping we hang out every day. Daydreaming, hoping you'll be here to stay. Oh, oh, the semester's so bad, classes are such a drag. I can't wait for break when I'll be holding your hand. I'm just daydreaming, waiting for the summer to come. Daydreaming. Waiting for the summer to come, daydreaming. Waiting for the summer to come. Thanks. That song's called Daydreaming. I wrote that during a uh, three hour class I had on Fridays, which is the perfect time to be daydreaming. This next song is called Can I Tell You I Love You? Oh, thanks, Tracy. Can I tell you I love you? Can I tell you I care? Can I call you my sweetheart? Or would you be scared? Can I tell you I love you? Can I tell you you're mine? Can we 
we hold hands forever? Or would you rather not try? The society keeps telling me that love is such a scam. But explain to me why I feel so free when I hold your hand. Can I tell you I love you? Can I tell you I care? Can I tell you I love you? Or would you be scared? joining in. I'm Caroline. I make music with my band Cinema Hearts. We're from Virginia and I'm very excited to be playing virtually with the Central Rappahannock Regional Library. I am quite the reader and book nerd so I'm always happy to partner with a library. <laughs> All right. So this next song is um, it's about being a woman and playing guitar and kind of about the strange things that people will tell me when they think about that. This song is called Fender Factory. Doesn't make me want to buy a strat when you talk to me like that. Doesn't make me want to buy a strat when you talk to me like that. You play guitar and that's because I visited the Fender Guitar Factory in California. They used to be open for tours. Um, and I think they stopped doing that a few years ago. But uh, I visited there. I was super excited because I also play a Fender Jaguar electric guitar. You can't see, this is an Ibanez. But um, anyway, love Fender Instruments. Was so excited to be in like the Mecca of 
guitarists like guitar heaven where they make fender guitars and the tour guide um just teased me the whole time and made me feel really bad uh that like i didn't know everything about how a guitar is constructed or who cares if a stratocaster is made in japan versus the u.s versus mexico as long i was just like as long as someone's interested in playing like whatever <laughs> um but I wrote that song about that experience and happy ending. Fender Guitars actually reached out to me a couple of years after and they apologized and they said that they are working really hard to like promote all different kinds of musicians who play regardless of who they are, what they look like, what have you. So yeah, happy ending. That's the power of music. So, you know, you never know what kind of change you can bring about through a song. <laughs> All right, so this next one. Um, if you like any of these songs, they're all online. So this next one is from the same album as Fender Factory, and this song is called Loose Love. Thank you. 
I don't know why I took this cape off. I'm going to need it. So this next song, um, it's called I Saw Her in Your Spotify. It is about like when you're dating someone, maybe you're like stalking them online. You're like, I'm going to go deep. I need to find everything. Um, in this case, maybe you're like with somebody and you find out like, oh my gosh, they're following somebody else on another social media platform, Spotify, whatever, but not me. What gives? Um, that's a sign. So don't pursue that relationship. And that's what this song is about. <laughs> Why would I try to convince you that you should change your mind? It was a lie to tell my mother you were always mine. I saw her in your Spotify. I saw her in your Spotify. Why would I fight? It doesn't matter if it's all online. Did I feel right? You follow her like flies follow the light. I saw her in your Spotify. I saw her in your Spotify. Ooh, For you, dear, nearly every night. Hope for some sign. I send for you, but I get no reply. I saw her in your Spotify. 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 All right. This next song, um, this is like an older song I'm going to play that I wrote when I was in college. And it was about like the concept of like, oh, I have all these assignments I need to do, whether for work, school, whatever. But like, I'm a little bit busy thinking about like the rest of my life and what is happening and what is my role in the world. And that's a bit, that's kind of relevant now, right? So this song is about that. It's called Homework. It's raining sleet outside. The roads are bad and I can't drive. My life is being led through a screen. I'm tired of this scene My room's a mess with piled clothes My music plays, my cell phone glows I can't prepare myself for times I lie ahead I feel so many things at once I can't get any homework done. Live out the best years of your life. Get your degree, don't be his wife. Adults around me seem to suffer through the storm. Endless traffic jam I'm wondering what it's for I can't surrender And watch my days decay I feel so many things at once I can't get any homework done Oh Oh I feel so many things at once. I feel so many things at 
All right. This next song tends to be a lot of people's favorites. So if you like it, it's online like a lot of these. You can just look up Cinema Hearts. This song is called I Want You, But I Don't Need You. Babe, I want you, but I don't need you. You can call me, but you don't have to. Honey, anytime that you are free, you know that you can always hang out with me. Babe, I want you, but I don't need you. I got some others I can't hold on to. If you were smart, then you would be. for anybody <laughs> um oh my god so the lyrics are spot on thank you yeah so all these songs i played so far were some i wrote this next song i'm gonna do i did not write um who's listened to the new taylor swift album i feel like you can't avoid the news about it honestly i think the folklore album's good but like i have a soft spot for red and speak now I know, radical opinion. But those were like two albums that really shaped my songwriting. Um, so I'm going to play you a song by Taylor Swift. This is Cardigan. <laughs> Sequin smile, black lipstick, sensual politics. When you are young, they assume you know nothing. But I knew you would dance in Indian Levi's, drunk under a street light. Ha, ha, ha. I knew you would hand under a sweatshirt, baby kiss the better. Ha, ha, ha. And when I felt like I was an old cot again under someone's bed, you put me on and said I was a favorite. A friend to all is a friend to none. Those two girls lose the one. When you are young, they assume you know nothing. Like a 
I'll admit, I liked that song more once I figured out the chords and I'm like, ah, oh, it's like the Taylor I know and love. All right, so this next song, thanks. This next song is one I wrote. Um, I wrote this before quarantine, like a few years ago. But strangely, now this song is very, very relevant. It is called Every Day is a Day Without You. <laughs> Every day. From me, darling, every day without you. Every day is a day when I'm wondering where you are and what you're up to. Every day is a day that's more lonesome than before. Every day I'm without you once more. I've got stars in my eyes, hoping I'll be surprised by your presence, or maybe your call. I've been hoping so long, oh is it so wrong, to love you, though you've been gone. Every day is a day when I'm waiting. To hold you and have you back home Oh, each day is a day when life gets in the way Every day is a day I'm alone song is about uh not wanting to see your high school friends once you go to college this is called if you go <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay. This next song is about living in your hometown. Maybe you all feel the way I feel sometimes about living in Virginia a long time. You're like, I love it, but also let's go somewhere. So this song is called I've Been Living Here Too Long. <laughs> Other than Taylor Swift, who are some of your other inspirations and influences? Oh, thanks for the question. Um, let's see. Lately, I've been listening to a lot of uh, like newer indie rock singer songwriters like Wyeth Blood and Lucy Dacus and Phoebe Bridgers. Um, and then when I was first starting to write songs, I was like really in. To 60s girl groups which is why a lot of these songs have like that four chord progression because <laughs> at the time that was like the only thing I could really sing and I just thought it was cool how they had like I don't know love songs that were like very vulnerable I thought um who else have I been listening to lately oh Mitski I love Mitski I've had her album on repeat constantly <laughs> If I had to play a show with anyone, I would want to do it with Misky. <laughs> All right. Speaking of like covers and like what are my influences? So this next song is the second cover I'm going to do. Um, these next three songs, I guess. Yeah, the next three songs, um, they're in tribute to my Miss America days. I used to do uh, Miss America pageants and I really wanted to be Miss Virginia, which is fine. <laughs> Uh, I did not win that, but I was uh, Miss Northern Virginia and I was Miss Roanoke Valley and it was a blast and it's very, it's a very surreal kind of experience. I mean, I don't know what would be the most similar, maybe like American Idol or something, being a first lady. It was such a cool experience. Um, anyway, my talent for the pageant, I played electric guitar and I sang and I did like original arrangements that I did uh, with my friend James Adelsberger. And my brother Eric Weinroth helped me with it, put all this work into it. And I would always lose to someone who did like, I don't know, just singing, karaoke, whatever. Anyway, so this is one of the songs that I did. 
and this is the Beatles. It's come together. <laughs> if you want to see a video of this, I have it on YouTube. So you can look up like my name, come together or cinema has come together. I'm sure you'll find it. <laughs> Here come old flat top, he come grooving up slowly. He got Jew and Jew eyeballs, he's one holy roller. He got hair down to his knees. Got to be a joker, he just do what he please. He wear no shoe shine, he got so jam football, he got monkey finger, he shoot. played that song or part of that song at least within the time limit and high heels with that solo it was a lot <laughs> actually when i was learning come together at first um one of my favorite arrangements is tina turner's version if you haven't listened to that amazing all right <laughs> thank you okay so this next song Oh, hey, Frank, thanks. This next song is one of my favorites to play. It is called Mirror, and it'll lead into the song after that, which is called Your Ideal. <laughs> when you look in the mirror, what do you see? The question that judges love to ask me. I see a woman who wants to be free, but I'll be one. Through the mountain, my way, just the time my eyes close when I try. 
play in the princess charade. I want to be the one to eat the most cake. My lashes on, I'm lashing out, I can't wait. Hey, I want to be, I want to be your ideal. I want to be, I want to be your ideal. My favorite woman is the one that's not real. I want to be, I want to be your ideal. playing those two songs back to back it's like a marathon for me <laughs> i love those two songs they're two of my newer ones and i just i just think it's so much fun to play it's very liberating um i feel like i have like two different kinds of songs okay maybe three different kinds of songs i do i have like the singer songwriter like ooh, pretty voice song then i have like upbeat songs which seem to always have like a novelty kind of approach like I'll admit, like Fender Factory, I saw her on your Spotify. To me, they're kind of like funny lyrics. And lately I've been having this third avenue, which is like, I wish I were a punk rock singer in a punk band, but I'm like a musical theater singer who's doing rock and roll. So how does that sound? And then it comes out to be like that. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do two more songs, I think. And this next one, it's in the category of singer songwriter. Let me turn on the pretty voice after kind of yelling. <laughs> this one's called All My Life. Bring him by some more. I've been in your store before. Didn't recognize the glass shining. Like someone I always knew, feeling mystified, familiar hopes I cannot hide. I'm wondering what's your favorite color, and have you lived another before? 
thank you all so much for watching. I'm gonna do one more song. Um, what am I gonna say? Oh my gosh, I'm like, this has been such a fun set to play. I mean, just as a musician who like, I think every musician kind of looks forward to summer and is like, oh, can't wait until I go on tour with my band or play this festival or go play for the Central Rappahannock Regional Library. And of course, now we're in a different time and place. We're all at home. Or I hope you're at home. Um, so just being able to like spend time in this virtual third space with you all is just really nice. So thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you like missed part of the set, the library will have a recording of it online. And if you like any of these songs, you can follow me at cinemahearts.com and whatever social network is your preferred choosing. I'm trying to decide. What should my last song be? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do I'll Always Be Around. Okay. I hope I remember this one. <laughs> is gray do you think of me at the end of the day would you call me when you're around it's so hard love to know that you're not in this town i know the shops drive down roads on the old places we used to go